And this particular story that we're going through is the story of Honorable Amelia Chambade, who is the senior presidential advisor on trade and industry, but also a former minister of industry. I, I was telling her that she literally become, became the name and the office in the Ministry of Trade, but still listening to her story. Life in politics, life outside of politics, from a PPS to a you know, a member of parliament and now to a presidential advisor and <coughs> that's what I am talking about. All right. Uh, <laughs> last week we were talking about um, the whole idea of your nomination. You know, you're from PPS office. The excavator is lifting you and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about election night. You seem to have had a done deal when you, because you said it was electrifying. You had all the support. So you didn't have to worry about vote protection and all those things. Uh, during elections? No, I didn't have to worry about that. I had a powerful team, though, um, who moved around. I made sure that every station was well protected, well, 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 well guarded. Hmm. And we were organized because we knew all our figures. We knew how many voters we had. We knew I had campaign. Really? Mildred. You had done your I mama. never took this for granted. I moved from, we never slept. I moved from hut to house, from cottage to what? In the middle of the night, I never slept. Never slept. Okay. And I made, and if anyone spotted a house that did not support me, that night I'm with them. I would sit there the whole night. You'll sit and uh, make yes. sure that you live make while sure they're Yes. Ah. I combed. Uh, this is combing. My four sub-counties. Mm. Actually, plus the island. The island, I wrote border borders. I wrote all. Oh, five. With the, with the island. Hmm. But I knew every house. You know, I would look at a child there playing, and I know this kid is from so-and-so's house. Oh. Yes. Or the, even up to now when I meet them in town, I always tell them, go over Kamengu, go over Mpichi. I know them. Okay. Because I knew every house, every cottage, every hut, every street, so I never took anything for granted. Okay. The time came for elections. Mm. I was seated here in my house, in my, at, my, at home. Well, my heart beat because Honorable Mtulza was very powerful. And you know, during campaigns, sometimes people come to you to gain. To gain, yeah. Some money. The numbers some could lie. Because I was giving out things, you know. No bribe. But, but enticement. Mm, mm. Uh, let us let us put it some put some <laughs> finesse on it. <laughs> enticement. Enticement. Okay. okay, we get it. So, um, so on that day, I, I got a bit nervous because uh, Honorable Mtulza had the power in the Catholic Church, mm. had the power of the Randis community, which is very big here. Mm. But I was also clustered in that area. They would call me Randis, they would mm. call me. But I would, all these Catholic churches, I would go. I was in every house of worship. You'd think, today you'd think I'm a Catholic, tomorrow you'd think I'm a Muslim, the other day you'd think I'm Church of Uganda, the other day you'd think I'm Pentecostal, you know. A vote was a vote. A vote, vote was a vote. Mm. So um, that day, we organized ourselves, we made sure every station had people. And there were some, there were some roving ones who were supposed to move from station to station. Mm. Elections. And I said, "Ha! Huh. Now those are that is the time when all these moments came back." And I said, "How humiliating is it going to be?" After all for this, my, after all this, Kajanja Kajanja. In the election, yes, and then you lose. And also my boss having put him under a lot of discomfort with new not knowing anybody steady there. I mean, not uh, having had anybody steady there. Not You know, all that. Yeah. And those are the moments that my sentiments kept going round and round. It was an overnight of prayer. And I said, God, take me through Help this. Help me. Elections, they elected. But when I went to vote, you know, you can always sense it. When I went to vote, you know how how they are when they see you. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh, yo. Amelia, Amelia. 
Who, you had who, that song who, during uh, that point. Yes, that, that is when, any. Oh, I had oh, forgotten that. That's when you got uh, your replacement. Yes. Sing that song yes. now. Now, Hudaman, that song. <laughs> mm. That is what I was going to tell you. That mm. we'll dance with Hudaman. At every campaign spot. It would be Amelia, Amelia. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amelia, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> so, man okay. would come. Oh, comes with his chief voice. Mm. Amelia comes with a Gomez. And dance throughout. We dance throughout. We dance. We moved with Hilderman all over. He did a good job for me. Really, okay. I can't complain. Yeah. No, I cannot. That song, we that every rally, wherever it was, Hilderman was there with me. Throughout. So. So after election, when the announcement came that it was you, eh. what was that? What did it feel ah. like? What was all home like? Oh my God. Within seconds, this place was full. In fact, we danced from here. It was in your one. Sorry, we danced from here. Mm. This place was here, but not finished. There was, there was no, there was no stones. It was just dust. Mm. Oh, we danced two days. I bought booze. You know, we all. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but, but that, that is, is what it is. Yes. That's what celebration is in Africa. Food, huh? meat. What? For two days. Others slept here. People were just falling in ponds. Here, these ponds were there. Mm. They would drink and fall in ponds. They were, they, were, they were littered all over the place. Not yeah. littered, actually. But <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a call from the president after you had been announced? Yes. He called mm. and congratulated and you. And congratulated me. Wow. And, um, oh. I can't even explain the joy. And then I started my plans. This is what I'm going to do. I'm mm -hmm. going to start with health, focus on health, education. Those are my key sectors. Mm -hmm. Now I strengthened my Twezimbe, <coughs> my NGO. Okay. But of course, all my resources were going there now because not much support, though. Yes. Because you know you're a politician and. Yeah. People don't see much value in you. But but you were going to a parliament of hundreds and hundreds of others who have the same dreams, yeah. um, who have the same aspirations. Where were your aspirations met? I was disappointed. Because I thought I'll just walk into the local government and tell them, let us focus on this school. Oh dear. Let us focus on this health center. Let us do this. No. Mom. <laughs> I was like, this lady, Wangari, you know Wangari is the one of Kenya, the one who died, mm. that lady. Yes. That lady was, was protecting the environment. She was an environmentalist. So she decided to go into politics. When she was working as an NGO, she was very, very powerful. And they would give her support, all these bazungos. When she went into politics, everything vanished. Everything vanished. She couldn't do anything. So that is how I felt. I felt so frustrated. Because if I wanted piped water, it was a process. You have to put it in the budget. You have to apply. You have to do this. You have to do And when it comes to implementation, you cannot dictate mm. that we start with this or we start with that. Okay. I decided to start doing things my way. And of course, it hit That's me wrong. so badly financially. So you Mildred, literally wanted to do I was always personally. broke. Because... Oh you always my! Looked at you thinking you had a lot. Oh my God! Salary, oh my salary, loans. One time I walked into a bank. This girl will never forget me. And I said I wanted to borrow money. I borrowed three hundred million. But do you know what I do? Is do money for? Mm -mm. I bought holes. Every house had a hole. Got a hole. I bought beds for the all the health centers. Got beds. I bought um, things for the elderly, blankets. But you clearly knew in the constitution that was not work a member of parliament was supposed to do. I, I knew, but you, 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 I had that empathy. I wanted to change. I was you so hungry for transformation. Mm. 
I was so hungry for transformation. I wanted these people to lead a better life. I wanted them to feel me, to yeah. feel, to feel my, my impact, not politically, but socially. So, so you that, actually disappointed. Yes, I was disappointed because I drained my resources. Oh, and my children were so upset with me. You know, they kept telling me, mom, do you, you cannot, you can she, and I was always broke. Because every single show would, would come go here. to the constituency. Then I started, then the president would of course cancel me and say, you know, use the government programs. But I, I got so frustrated. I thought government programs were taking forever. Mm. And I was so frustrated. So I was disappointed that my being MP, although I managed to change A bit lives, of what you could. Oh, I did a lot. I did a lot. Even when you were appointed minister, it became even hard. Because when you were appointed minister, one would think as a minister, you're sitting in cabinet. Things are a little bit easier. No, it was a bit MP. easier. Now I haven't told you that, uh, how I was appointed. I haven't told you that, Midri. Tell us. because now I've just become an MP now. Because we are in that season where, uh, <laughs> where we're thinking about cabinet reshuffle, the letters moving around. I'm told some people are bribed, they're told pay some money and, uh, you know, we'll present your name to the president. Really? How did you get appointed? I was also shocked. Shocked, literally. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sitting there planning on how I'm going to move from village to village in Maokata. I had worked out a plan with my Twezimbe team. We had offices in Tinda, we had offices in every sub county. And we had started planning. How are we going yeah. to start? Mm. Now, let us identify the vulnerable groups and we start supporting <clears throat> them. Started buying sewing machines, started doing this. Now the list comes out. Uh, to, to, to ministers. But for me, I wasn't even bothered because I never knew them, I would even be appointed as yes, a minister. Yes. And I had Amelia Chamber Day, Minister of Trade, Industry, and Corporate. Aid. Did the president ever? I'm told some people are consulted. You know, you're told about a particular he, ministry, You know, but... what we used to do when I was PPS, the president would say, start calling these people that I'm going to appoint them. Mm -hmm call so and so that I'm going to appoint them as a minister if they have any objection. Mm. So for me when he asked me, I, I told him, sir. He had called you? Yeah. Mm. He, he, no, after after the name had come out. Oh, he didn't consult before? Uh, no, after the name had come out, he congratulated me. After yes. Then I said, but sir, I, I can't manage trade, industry and cooperative. I haven't done anything there. I haven't done anything. Even though I've trained in uh, in business, uh, I can't manage. Say, no, 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 you try. You do it. You have the capacity to do so. So, well, I, th I thanked him for the, for the confidence he had vested in me. But what did it mean? It meant that I needed to work extra hard to balance Mawokota North. Now, my, the love of my life was Mawokota. Yes. You know? So, I had to balance trade. And, and Maokota. How easy or oh, hard was it? It was hard. I entered trade, industry and cooperatives. I found the ministry a bit. I don't want to say it wasn't so, but it was a bit low, 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 you mm. know, not so high, 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 high level. I and mean, it was not performing very well. Of course, the budget was so low. Mm. The budget was so low, but it had highly skilled manpower. All these young people were highly skilled. Mm. In fact, I feel sorry for them because now I think they are being underutilized. But I utilize them fully. So I reached trade. I realize regional trade is down. Continental trade, there is nothing. Um, internal trade, Casita had taken over the economy. Oh, we would yeah. fight with Casita so badly until we became friends. Why were you fighting them? I thought they were adding value to the economy. No, no, no. They were a bit controversial. They always believed in strikes. Okay. Hey. Mm. And for me, I never believed in strikes. Okay. For me, I believe in the power of negotiation. So I used to tell them, let us negotiate. But for them, say, 
You know, it was always the de demonstration. You know, people always wanted that attention, the president's attention. So that is how the, our fights, that is how we had conflicts. Because for me, I said, let us negotiate. We can transform the traders. But for them, mm -mm. let's go. This is a crisis. To Galeo. Don't work. Don't do this. But eventually, we became very good friends. Okay. And um, one time we went on TV and we almost fought with a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. With a light. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you remember that? So now trade was a challenge. Trade. Industry. Cooperatives. Cooperatives had collapsed. Mm. Industries had issues. Electricity, water. You know, those first years, it was so not easy. Trade. The traders. Standards. What? So now I started with that war. But meanwhile, I was working with Mawokota. Didn't it affect your work, especially in Mawokota? You are a minister, you are a member of parliament, but you have to balance them. National duties, Mawokota issues. It was very stressful. Because that meant I had to work out a program whereby Monday to Friday, uh, Monday, Monday to Friday was Ministry of Trade. Mm. Saturdays, uh, Monday to Thursday. Thursday was ministry. Friday, Saturday, Sunday was Maokota. Now, who loses out? Family. Definitely. Family. I couldn't balance. How? How did you even? Of course you couldn't balance, but couldn't. how did you put a... You know, my children, my children, children to see me, they had to make appointment. Are you for real? Oh, you can't believe it. I am writing an appointment to no, meet my no, no, mother. No, no, no. They will call, Mom, when, when will you be free to see me? <laughs> well, they even come to the office, and I see all these other people, and I don't, and see, don't them. see them. And remember, they're also growing. They have their needs. Oh, there are some things I regret. I don't regret because... But you feel you should have done it differently. I should have done it differently. Mm. Mm. So, um, it was very stressful, balancing. But I must, I'm proud to say that... Um, I, I achieved so much in Mawakota. We achieved so much during my tenure. Mm. For example, um, out of um, when I came into Mawakota, especially piped water, it was only 20 villages. By the time I left, it was 60 villages Lovely. with piped water. Mm. Electricity out of out of a hundred. Mm. Yes, out of a hundred, and then. Um, with electricity, electricity, when you go through Maokuta, you'll be surprised. There's electricity everywhere. Everywhere. So, because now I had, I took heed of the president's advice that use government s systems. Because I wouldn't have achieved if you know that. Didn't you take advantage of them too much at the disadvantage of other people? Because, I mean, you had the cross Pro connection. Proximity. Mm -hmm. Never abuse proximity. I used it maybe because, in fact, I used to lobby on my own. I wouldn't even use him. Mm. I, would, I would go. But people liked me. I, I really must thank uh, people because I, I don't, they like me. I served diligently yeah. and I served them during uh, as a PPS. And what I'm realizing now is that there's so much I did for them that I did not know that I had. You understand? People yeah. are appreciating me. But they can remind you what to know. Oh, they do. How about health and education, which you were very passionate about as you were getting into politics? Education, um, of course, I, I used to lobby for equipment, I mean, for furniture. I, but I also built a full class block. I kept building classes. I would bring, I would build a block, I would build two, I will build uh, two classes, I will build, uh, but I, thought I built a full classroom block in uh, Namabo, where kids were studying from the compound, from the tree. Mm -hmm. Imagine, Pidgey is not very far. Yes. I got scholarship for 300 students in high institutions of learning. Over the period and tenure? All that period, I was during my tenure. Okay. And do you know what happens? They transform the lives of their parents. Because I would go back and find their built houses. When they're coming for graduation, they paint the house. A person who is living in a hut is living in a better house. Mm. They roof the house. When they're coming for getting married. Mm. So the educated ones, 
have actually transformed the lives of their families. Which is a lovely and beautiful yes, thing. Yes, it's an that, achievement. That, that was a span of about 10 mm. years, two terms, yes, right? Yes, two terms. You're a minister, you're you know, a member of... But family. I'm achieving all that. Okay. Mm. Now, uh, mm -hmm. what was the time? Because of mm. all the ministers, President Yoram, seven years hard, mm. uh, you, you were one outstanding minister uh, because many of those ministers and I'm saying quote unquote, not so many will speak up against the president and say, no, Mr. President, I think that is not right. You are one of those. We could clearly see you even during the COVID-19, you know, lockdown period while the president was speaking up and you would say, no, I think that won't work. I think the traders need this. How did you garner that energy, <laughs> that courage? <laughs> is it because you'd worked with him for a very long time? Did it ever cause you any problems politically with your mates? Of, of of COVID. Remember, I was on the committee of um, of trade mm. and works with the uh, with the honourable with the general Katumba. General Katumba was my two IC. Was my two oh, two IC. I was the chair. So would sit in for these meetings. COVID hit the whole world and it left and it was detrimental to a lot of economies. Yes. COVID was something that was very new, a new pandemic in our economy. We are in governance. We just don't know how to manage it. To balance trade, I mean, to balance um, health, and economic survival. We had two schools of thought in cabinet. Mm. Minister of Health was saying that let us focus on controlling health, on saving lives mm. now. Mm. But I was saying, another school of thought were people like me who were saying, let us look at their economic survival as well as health. Because if she has to drink Katunda, Mm. Where is she going to get money, get the money from? To buy it, yes. So now we already had a spillover. By the time we got to those meetings, we had already had a spillover of arguments along those lines, those two schools of. Thought. And those arguments could clearly be seen <laughs> in those meetings, in those addresses. Yes. Now the president was in between. Sometimes he would support health, health alone, yes. and sometimes he would support health and economic survival. Now we'd go to those meetings and the people who prepared a brief, of course, is the committee of, mm. of COVID. Yes. There is an in input by trade. There is an input by finance. There is an input by health and all that. So he reads through and because he's also feeling so passionate about saving lives, yeah. which is crucial, he would only zero down on. On, yeah. on health. Yes. So mine was coming in as a prompter or as a reminder. Every time we would be waiting after that the speech. And there is also this app. <laughs> <Ramelia, you're getting. laughs> yes. No, it, has, it didn't work for me very well. Oh, I didn't go down very well with some people. Okay. <laughs> and um, so mine was like a prompter, but not in bad faith. Hmm. But just to remind him, because these are discussions we had had earlier in cabinet mm. and we were, so we we'll just prompt him to remember that, oh, we could do this for these As people. Well. Okay. These people in the market, <clears throat> we could also do this for them. Okay. Uh, these border people, we should not be too harsh, you know. So uh, for me, I was just pushing a prompter. But sometimes, he would, in most cases, he would ask me, he would remember in the meetings, he would say, what are you saying? Or oh, I would put up my hand. Ever. <laughs> ever. That hand would come up. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, they were very, uh, other ministers are very angry with me, but I don't care. You just took that up. Yeah. But anyway, um, mm. uh, we were always looking up to your hand, and you asked the questions, and the traders would be like, oh, she had said something. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, we'll have to be taking a short break. This conversation is not ending. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we're still having Honorable Amelia Chambade. But even after all the achievements and just two terms in office, the love, could we say turned into hate or what happened along the way that when she went back to politics, 
she was not announced, she was not easy. How did she take in that loss and what is life? in political retirement, active politics, being a member of parliament. That is what we'll be talking about when we do return from the short commercial break. You're still watching NDS People and Power. Get more for less on Star Times this Easter season. A Star Times antenna decoder this Easter at only 20,000 shillings. Top up 13,500 shillings to enjoy one month of premium bouquet. A Star Times satellite decoder plus dish full kit at 89,000 shillings. Star Times offers the most affordable family entertainment. Cartoon channels for educative kids shows. New global series. Local drama on Makula TV. And football around the world. For existing customers, simply make weekly or monthly subscription and enjoy upgrade to the next bouquet. Family time with Star Times. Star Times is regulated by UCC. This is a quick call. I'm almost out of minutes. Now, I'm the same. <laughs> Why rush through such important conversations? Airtel Uganda has made it possible for you to call across all networks in Uganda at the best rates with the new Bona Voice Banners. Stay connected anytime, anywhere, with minutes valid for calls on all networks. Dial star 100 star 1 hash. Select Voice Banners and select Bona Voice Banners today. Airtel, the smartphone network. They say that to create drama, it takes work. That is the question. It demands dedication and faith. Yeah. Sometimes you need a helping hand. Bro, you got this, okay? You need to fix all the discreet policies in your account. Hey, listen! No, you listen! All I want is to be your friend. And other times, the will to keep trying. But who cares what they say when you're born to do it? Scene 5, take 2. Watch Uganda in action on Pearl Magic, Pearl Magic Prime, and Pearl Magic Local. Only on DSTV Uganda and Go TV Uganda. I killed Joyce. Stay connected for great stories told the Ugandan way. Only Sanyuka Prime brings you all the exciting action in the Star Times Uganda Premier League. Watch over 150 live games, highlights, replays, and so much more Star Times Uganda Premier League content. Breaks away, and it's a goal! The Star Times Uganda Premier League, only on Star Times. Brought to you by MTN, the official broadcast sponsor. Better steady, be better. Seven out of ten of us have lost a substantial amount of money to fraudsters. Money we could have used to pay rent, invest in small businesses, clear fees, or send to mama in the village. Better steady and protect what's yours by being vigilant with your virtual transactions. Keep your pin to yourself and only take calls from registered customer care numbers in case of telecom issues. Better steady, be better. with freedom get empty and freedom voice bundles that don't expire dial star 100 star 21 hash or my mtn app for more bundles together we're unstoppable
You have undoubtedly, in one way or the other, crossed paths with the Uganda Revenue Authority, URA, as a government organization, or at least seen its name. Are you aware of who they are, what they do, how they go about doing it, and what obligations they have to you, or even of your obligations to the URA? It is time for each one of us to get on the same page. Our panelists from URA, John R. Musinguzi, Commissioner General, Abel Kagumire, Commissioner Customs, Robert Mutebi, Commissioner IT and Innovation, and Sarah M. Chelangat, Commissioner Domestic Taxes, Mr. Issa Sechito, Country Representative of Gabriel Rio.